Ooh, Stutter Girl drops the true tea about why Scotty and Razor was fighting, baby. She basically say that Scotty and Razor are some hoes that will do anything for a dollar and some fame. And she doesn't even say their names. Let's talk about it. Child, Stutter Girl did an interview, honey, and she gave some hot tea, baby. Now, this is the hot tea. She really, really dropped it and broke it down. Is that her man right there? Yeah, I think that her man right there. No lie, he is kind of foin in a criminal, like, um, gangster sort of like, he's not on social media type, like he a rough, he a rough neck. And you know, I like that, just don't shoot me. But anyway, Stunna Girl breaks down not just the Scotty and Razor fight, but other fights that seem to not really make any sense on the show. Let's watch. Is that little skinny that's running that um, zoo suit, is he really? Them bitches up there trying to get them shows and shit. Like, <laughs> no, because I seen it in person. I couldn't. I can't believe it. At that point, you really gotta have chili. You gotta be. You gotta be telling these bitches, "I'm gonna get you something to do this. You gonna get on this show?" Because that that looks crazy. All I can say if say is if people be wondering why there be like. Okay, say two girls are fighting and you're watching it and you don't understand why. Mm -hmm. Nine times out of ten, it's over that. Like, uh, yeah, it'd be like a lot of fights y'all don't understand. Why are these like, where did this fight come from? They just immediately fight in like my fights. You knew exactly what was it for and who, you know, what it right. was aimed at. But like some of the girls will be fighting. You'll be like, what the fuck are these bitches fighting over? I'll be something really Ooh. little like, oh, she fucking touched me or I don't fucking know. But yeah, yeah it's did definitely with the shenanigans. Where <laughs> is that loose? Oh, notice how she didn't say their names, but we all knew what she was talking about, honey. Let's revisit memory lane. This one. And once again, you keep touching me. You keep touching me. I'm showing me. you. Bitch, bitch, you keep touching me. Don't you talk to me. Do bitch, you want to kick. Do that. You want to kick. Got it. Bitch, what's up? Got it. You talk to me. This one. Ooh, yep. It does make more sense now. Cause it was kind of like Razor, she was doing the absolute most in terms of like, why are you touching me? Why are you touching me? It was like, girl, this has to be deeper. Mmm. Sonny Girl also talks about Roly, honey, and how Roly thought that she could punk her because of her size. And the interviewers also ask her about Tommy, honey. Let's watch. Roly, <laughs> there's so many big bitches. I'm like, the big bitch. It's the big bitch. She's the bully bitch. <laughs> Name, homie, the Roly bitch. Nah, honestly, <laughs> that's crazy, homie. She what is don't her No <laughs> problems with me. Like, if I seen like some like clips from this new season, like she's still trying to fight on my behalf, which is crazy because it's like I don't even fuck with you like that. So for y'all to still be bringing mm -hmm. me up, like th th I'm doing this because it's done. Like I don't fuck with you. And honestly, like I feel like we're her. She's just the type of person. Like she just wants to test everybody that comes in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you're an insecure person, she doesn't know just how to be around bad bitches and be a bad bitch, because yeah. she's not a bad bitch. So, instead of being like, oh, you know, fellow bad bitch to fellow bad bitch, like, it's more like, mm, let me test this bitch and see what she on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that type of thing. Yeah. Because I just feel like when they see a little bitch like me, they just, they don't like how I talk, how I walk. Is it like intimidation? You know? Yeah, I be feeling like mm -hmm. they be intimidated for no reason. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, no, they got every reason to, but... Still, they made their whole entire experience just about me, and that's where they fucked up at. Yeah. And I, I think they thought I was going to be an easy target, which I don't understand why. Because <laughs> yeah. it went from, like, when I first, the day I got there, it was like, oh, my God, I love your music. Oh, I know you about that shit. I be hearing the shit you rap about. To, like, fuck this bitch. We hate her. Um, just weird shit. Yeah. So, Have yeah. you and Tommy made up? Uh, no, that'll never be. <laughs> oh, so that's on site, too. Uh, yeah. this shit is crazy. Oh, not as still on site when she see Tommy, honey. Ooh, she kind of did like a psychological evaluation read on Roly, honey. Those are the best type of reads, honey, where you strike somebody to the white meat, dig into their psychological character, saying she's trying to be this bad bitch, but she's really, really not. If she could see through the bullshit, Mm-hmm. Tony Girl is the type of girl that she does know how to read. I will say this, and she does know how to fight. Um, that's, that's very true. You know, I have been going in hard on Sunna Girl because, true T, I was, I, I, I'm salty that she left the show. 
And ever since she left the show, I've been talking crap about her, okay? It's coming from love because, you know, I want you back, bitch. But all this shit you talking is you'll you'll never come back. I mean, you saying that let me fuck it all the cast members when he's married to Janisha, okay? So it's like, girl, I mean, and what does Janisha think about this? Because the rumors have been out. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, ooh. But ooh, Stunner Girl, thanks for this tea, girl. I thought it was very juicy, especially breaking down the Razor and Scotty fight, honey. That was, that was excellent. Excellent tea, honey. But I'm still mad at you. Comment down below.